What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new top 10 video that we actually do every single year following San Diego Comic Con. I meant to post this up earlier, but a little, a little, a bunch of stuff was, was taking place. So we'll, we'll get into that. But today guys, we're counting down my top 10 wants from San Diego Comic Con. You guys saw the figures we got. We broke it all down. We saw every single image of every single figure releasing to us. Coming this year, coming early into next year, maybe even late into next year. But today, man, we're going to get into of my top 10 reveals from San Diego Comic Con. The figures that I'm most excited about, the figures that I'm most anticipating, I would love to know down in the comment section below your most, you know, anticipated figures that we saw. Maybe your top 10, maybe your top 5, top 3. Tell me your favorite reveal. Tell me the figure you're most looking forward to down in the comment section below right now. Leave a like on the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. But let's dive into my top 10. Starting out with number 10. Uh, okay, let's get this out of the way first. There were so many Degum figures released this year or shown off at this year's San Diego Comic Con. Completely overwhelming with pre-orders completely overwhelming with how much product and quality of product that we got this year insane absolutely insane and we are only going up for here we're truly in the golden era of wrestling action figures and it is just insane man but starting out with number 10 i went with the legend 17 Shawn michaels figure now i'm a big Shawn michaels guy i like this figure a whole lot. I know it's just a repaint of the ringside exclusive, but it does have the jo the double jointed arms. It's got some extra stuff going on with it, and it has the zebra print in there. It is a just a barely tweaked ringside exclusive version there, but that figure goes for pretty steep prices nowadays, and it's upgraded with the double jointed arm. So for me, I wanted this on my list. I like this figure a lot. I have him at my number 10 figure. Coming in at number 9, this one was may shock you. You know, it may shock you. I have the new WrestleMania 39 Elite WrestleMania 18 rock figure here. I love this new head sculpt that we got. I know it's pretty plain Jane from the neck down. This is a gear of rock that I've been wanting for a while now. In elite figure form, especially to pair with the Hogan, even though they gave him the terrible torso. But the top talents rock is so good. That formula is so good. The figure feels really good in hand as far as the double jointed arms and the different gears that we've gotten from rock so far with the double jointed formula. I'm enjoying this figure. I have him at my number nine, just barely squeaking out the HBK that we saw from the Legends line as the target exclusive. Coming in at my number 8 spot, guys, I went with the Elite 100 Andre. Now, this is probably the figure that I'm most anticipating from Elite Series 100. I do not have the Elite 100 Cena on my list. Multiple reasons why I may even do a whole video on Elite 100. Let me know down below if you guys want to hear my thoughts. Like, full-fledged, just every single thought that I had about Elite 100 down in the comments section. But the Elite 100 Andre, I'm so excited for. Now, I'm not a huge Andre the Giant fan, pun intended. I just love the suited bodies. You guys know that I love suited figures and street attire figures and stuff from the AEW Jazzwares line. I love the streeted uh, gears and different suits that we get for Mattel and WWE action figures. And this one's just a lot different, man. It's a lot different than we've seen before with the suited bodies. They changed it up drastically. It's very colorful. It's very bright. I love the way it looks. I don't know if I'll ever be able to put anybody else other than Andre in the suit. But nonetheless, it's still a just gorgeous looking figure. I love it. I think it's a great action figure. And you have the Chase variant version. I have Elite 100 Andre. You had to pay respects here in the top 10. And I have him at my number 8 most anticipated figure from San Diego Comic Con Reveals. Coming in at number 7, I have the Ultimate Edition Cody figure. Now you probably were guessing that this figure would be ranked much higher or something like that. And I think the big reason why it's not is because we have the Supreme Edition coming, right? We have the Supreme Edition. I'm very excited for both of them. I love that we're getting this figure. I'm very just, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm contemplating the formula. I'm a little bit struggling with the formula. I'm not over the moon excited for the figure. I am excited for the figure, but I think it's going to depend on a lot of different aspects of it to depend on how good this figure is. And while I'm skeptical about the figure, I'm still very excited for it, even though it's not my most exciting figure. I do love Cody. I love the Ultimate Edition right here. I have it at number seven because we have those Supremes. We have so many good Codys. I'm not like just truly losing my John Brown mind, you know what I'm saying? So I have him in my number seven spot. Speaking of AEW, coming in at number six spot. We have the ringside exclusive CM Punk that we saw with the ice cream bars. I, I know that a lot of people think this figure is just super plain Jane, but if it's anything like the street gear and the suited body that we got from AEW and Match Series 4 Cody, I'm over the moon for this figure. I'm super excited for it just because of the different pants molds and stuff like that. I'm not even a big CM Punk fan, but to have the no wrist tape to be able to make different gears, put different guys in these jogging pants, I am very excited for that. That's just such, such a fun time for me is fixing up and switching bodies, as you guys know, so that is super exciting for me. Ringside exclusive CM Punk is my number six figure. Coming in at number five, man, I have the Ruthless Aggression Elite John Cena. Now, it would have been higher, I think, if it had his hat, but uh, there's just some things about this figure that I do not like, which lowered it on the ranking a bit. It's going to have to go into that ankle mold and shoe mold from way 
way back when. It's like 12 years old now, that mold is. It, it, it needs to go, man. They have to retool the lower legs and the formula of these long jorts John Cena figures. It's just, it's got to be changed. It has to be changed. Whether it goes to the Ultimate Edition one, I'd be fine with that. And they, they start coloring these shoes and some details. I don't know, but I'm so sick of these feet right here and these ankles. They get super loose. They fall over. It's just not very practical, and uh, I'm talking about why it sucks when it's number five, but you guys get the point here. You know, it's not my favorite thing ever, but my biggest excitement for this figure comes from the wristbands. I love the wristbands. We're finally getting these, you know, the 8-bit gaming John Cena attire. We're getting the, the bicep and wristbands from this gear, which I'm really excited for for future fix-ups and customs, and uh, you guys know how I feel about John Cena. I like this figure a lot, of course, but uh, it is uh, it can be so much better, and I think that's kind of where my mind goes to, especially with Cena. You guys know that I'm going to pick any Cena apart, and so that is what I got for my number five figure. Going into number four, man, we have the Top Talents Elite Rey Mysterio. Jesus Christ, how beautiful of a figure is this. You guys know that uh, it's basically just a repaint, but they put the new basic Rey Mysterio head sculpt onto this figure, which is huge. I've been waiting for them to finally use this for their Rey Mysterio Elites. They finally did that in this top picks. It's the Macho Man pink, yellow, black, white. Very clean gear right here, man. I'm so excited for this one, just for the future customs and fix-ups. It's a beautiful figure on its own, and I keep Keep saying, you know, this Ray's the best and this Ray's the best, but this Ray, I think it beats out the other top talents that we just saw not too long ago that's literally probably in your target right now. I think this one beats it out slightly, so that's insane, but I'm very excited for this figure because of how good the other ones are, and I know this one's going to be very toyetic as all of his figures are, but that is my number four figure. Coming into number three, we have my man Finn Balor, man. We have the Elite Series 98 Finn Balor, the Demon Finn Balor here, very excited for it, just for the updated formula, right? We're going to have a double jointed arm, elite torso, demon Finn Balor, pissed off head sculpt, grinning there. I'm really excited to see how much detail the torso does have and if it's like very crappy or if it's actually got some nice detail, what the exact back graphics going to look like on this body. I love it. I love this so much. I love the interchangeable hands. Just being a huge Finn Balor fan, this one had to come in at number three for me. I think it's incredible, and I had to put him here at number three for the Elite 98 Finn Balor Demon. Coming in at number two, we have the top two figures here. Starting out at number two, I'm going with the Ruthless Aggression Elite Shelton Benjamin. I love this figure. I've been waiting on this figure for so very long. I, I can't even describe how long I've been waiting on this figure. Beautiful gear. I would have liked to see a new head sculpt, but you guys know in, the Ruth, in these store-exclusive waves, the way they do this, they always just repaint a figure, right? They always are just doing repaints, and that's what they have here. It's a repaint of the Elite 63 Shelton with the double-jointed arms. It looks really great. I love the kick pads. I love the gear. I do not like the knee pads. I'll switch those out. It's not a huge deal for me, but it is the Elite 63 Shelton. I think what I might do is get him in here and then add a mustache or something, or maybe even go get one of the old Jax Shelton Benjamin heads, or I don't know, maybe even the basic Shelton Benjamin from way back in the day. Maybe play around with that. I don't know exactly what I'll do, but We'll definitely get it in here. We'll get it in here. We'll make it work. But the Ruthless Aggression Shelton is one that I had to get in here and, and talk about because it, it's just, it's so incredible. I cannot wait for it. It looks beautiful. And coming into my number one spot, man, we are going with the Ultimate Edition AJ Styles. Yes, we had to do it, man. We had to do it. I'm so excited to finally get a formula for AJ Styles that I actually enjoy, that I actually think replicates AJ Styles. Now, I will say I wish I had torso, chest hair. It had some stomach hair. I could always add that. I could always add a decal. You know, I don't want to do those things, but uh, if you're going to have to do that, that's just the way it is. But I'm excited for this formula. I think it's going to look so good together. I think the white gear looks insane. The head sculpts look really good. We get new updated AJ Styles head sculpts. I think this is the best AJ figure that they've ever made. And uh, I love AJ Styles. I love this figure. The white gear, the sick heads, the sick formula. Been waiting forever. It can finally rest now that we're getting an updated formula. It's not perfect, but it's damn good. And I'm super excited for it. It is definitely my number one most anticipated figure because I, I can't wait to see what the details look like. And it is like the next batch of Ultimates. So right after we just got... Ultimate Edition Series 14 with Roman and Jeff Hardy shipped out from ringside. Brock Lesnar and Ultimate Warrior cannot be that far behind. And then just after that, it will be AJ Styles time. I'd imagine by like week four or five of college football season, we'll see this AJ Styles. Maybe even before that. And for today's random shout out, we're going to go to not the Brian Banks who said, I just saw yesterday that they had the Elite 98 Randy Orton and Big E on display. And I would want to hear your thoughts on what you have to say about those. I think the Big E looks really, really good. That's like what our set, we're getting like two back-to-back -back Big E Elites right there in Elite 98. 
95 and Elite 98. I think that one looks pretty good. You know, it's it's a new head sculpt. The head sculpt looks really good. The Elite 98, Randy Orton, I think the head sculpt's really great, but it's basically just the Elite 78 figure with double jointed arms. I do like the head sculpt a lot. I think that it does look a lot like Randy Orton. I love the mustache and stuff like that. I just wish they would have went with different gear because it's the same gear as Elite 78. Now I can just say, now I don't have to buy the Elite 78 and put the new torso on it, so that, that makes me feel good, but I like this head sculpt for Randy. I think putting that mustache head on other bodies will be really nice, but kind of a boring attire since we've had it for like 20 series ago, so it's like... Eh, it's kind of a mix max bag of, of stuff there, but a huge shout out to not the Brian Banks for that, man. But I'm getting out here, man. Thank you guys so very much. Leave me your top 10, top 5, top 3, whatever you want to do. Your most exciting reveal that you saw at San Diego Comic Con. I thought this year was very excellent, especially on the Ruthless Aggression side. I felt like we got a lot of new Ruthless Aggression figures. We got some epic stuff going on, but I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video, and have a blessed one. You cross the line. I've been